The university, as its natural course of doing business, would always be collecting on their student receivables, their students who have been enrolled at the university and have not made any payments toward their accounts. We have sent notices to them. In fact, we sent out about five text blasts. We also sent out emails, updates through the EUB uh, website, advising them of different options that they have in terms of coming to make good on their balances. We have done this as a matter of course. Uh, you know, it's something that we have done every year. Um, students are aware of it. There are some students probably who have made a decision to, to take it uh, public, but we have uh, basically done this as a matter of course. Last year, for example, we did it. We're doing it again this year. We have done everything in terms of extending uh, the time frame in which these students could get their accounts settled. Some of them have availed themselves of the service, others haven't. And so really it's the students who have not done that that we are really looking to see if we can get them financially cleared. What's the penalty, so to speak, of not paying? If a student is not financially cleared, basically what happens is the classes that they're in this semester, they're taken out of those classes. They can, in fact, come back in in the, in the, in the spring semester and apply for courses that they did not complete. But basically, it is a deregistration for the semester. It is not uh, the, the case as in some universities where if a student is deregistered, they can no longer come back to the university. That's not the case here.